having to see me. See the archer. not attend to you, I will never... Pardon me. Is that food for Count Odo? No, this is for Lady Theodorat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest Walter to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never move. The mother of his children, to think uh, so stubborn that Odo, and that pathetic Walter du Sens, too drunk uh. to give last rites. A travesty, that one is. Yeah, we need to find him. Merde! Merde! Corre! Corre! Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Of course it's jammed. Odo's bedroom. If his wife is inside, she might know where he is. So where did that key go? Follow me, father. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo? His foolish pride will kill us all. Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, my memory has gone all hazy. <laughs> Disgrace before God. Unfit even to say last night's encounters. 
And Count Odo, he was disgusted with me. If only I were a man, not a drunken beast. He will not talk to me. Says he's keeping watch for King Charles. Need some no wine. For wine, drunk priests. A bottle of wine for that drunken priest. As if he needs another. Here's your wine. Now do you remember where is Count Odo? Why? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of lies, the blood of Christ. The fiery flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Uh, before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in their master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Why didn't you Thanks. lock the door? I should head to Odo's bedroom. He's just shouting all the time. Now he won't be shouting anymore. I see nothing but shapes. Father, will you hear my confession? Um. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. I am the priest, your lady Ness. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor. Thinking God would be my shield, and now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, Father? Are they safe? They uh, are safe with that good man, Walter de Saint. Do not fear. Thank you. But, Father, please, will you carry a message from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must live for our children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <laughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband a any way you can. Death hmm. creeps upon me now, but slow and quiet, like a shadow at day's end. Eyelids so heavy. Mother, where are you? What about his kids? Farewell, good lady. Uh, but, but the kids. What good are our deaths, my lord? Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. 
We will crush the heathens between that hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come. Share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. Is it poisoned? I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She said to be strong for your children. Do not throw away your life for a mad king. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works, I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? Oh no. What would you do? I would fight. And someday... I will die with steel in my hand. This I know. It is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, Norma! Bleed for Paris! Oh, why does he do this? He's a fool! Oh no! Make me slay you. Honor the man. One of us die. It's a bit framing those flashy moments. Fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo, but not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shah and his army. He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. 
I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles would hold Polly. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor, and trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Or will he? Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. Of course. As to you. Good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye. And you? After we split up, I took my thanes and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. So it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every war thane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. I don't think he will do it. It cannot be this easy. Treasure is what we want. Treasure and a truce. Take his offer. He will not do it. Charles, we take your gift. And in return, we give you peace. Go on, shake your hand. <clears throat> Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rua. Odo. Gosler, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. He won't. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day. But I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. No, I mean no. They, no, no, no. Screw that. 
I cannot hand over the boy to one such as you. He's free to go where he wills. You dare defy me? Do you want battle, King? I will take your silver and your balls. Do not wreck our truce over one small boy. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? This is not over, Eivor of England. Ah, we have won a great victory and a great treasure. Come, we feast. Yeah, we cannot hand him over. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead, thanking their god that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bare our teeth and bite. That's not true. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. What's wrong with him? Enjoy the feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! Skull! Hmm. Let's remove this. Let's see where we need to go. Eivor, come here. Have you ever seen something like this? What is this? Racing against pigs? <laughs> yes. What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? <laughs> We've done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? I am kind of fast. Where do I start? A <laughs> good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. But well, where's to the goal? To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? And this big is fast. Shit. Look at us losing to a pig. The gods surely sent Colin Worsty. <laughs> How they mark us. Are we gonna win? Another victory for my saga. Seems your legs were blessed. Uh, no matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glisten from the dew of slaughter. Yes. Though, one wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. No, she will. 
Listen to my words, Toka. Long after the bodies are buried and the house is rebuilt, the Franks will remember this day. All we have is an uneasy truce with Charles. And glory worthy of our ancestors. <laughs> you are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword in the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was glad you did not turn over Bernard. I miss Sinric, but a father like Charles is worse than no father at all. I could not doom the boy. It is not a price I think my clan would have me pay for their safety. Come now! Very astamosi! So there's something down here. Ah, Eivor! Here is something even you have never done. Tossing food for sport. Oh. Cheese throwing? The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. You enjoy this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? Why not? Will not hurt to try. Should be easy. <laughs> Just try not to hit anyone. So, what I do? Bravo, Evor! Oh, we won. Throw, Evor. Never underestimate the cheese. Did I underestimate the... You definitely earned a prize, so here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There's much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell. What else should I know? Uh, never mind. Worry not about what I might teach. Right. Plenty to celebrate about this night. Don't let me spoil your fun. Go on. Something was amiss with Siegfried earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirits by now. Yeah, something was wrong. Something was wrong with him. He's just sitting there all alone. What's wrong with him? Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Siegfried. What were you doing with Count Odo as Charles's army marched on me and my men? I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange that you met with Odo, Richardus, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads? Everything I've done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. This celebration is not about us and those we killed. It is for our dead, so that we may honor them. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons. And we are no different than wolves driven by some inner hunger we can never understand. That may be. But for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No. 
I do not believe there is a hall waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grow. We gave Charles our word. Our word? You are the one who failed to return his son, Bernard. Have you forgotten? That was different. Charles would have... Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy. And after that, all of Francia. He has lost it. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. Sinric, we swore an oath not to attack Paris. My brother, we swore an oath on the old gods, but now you are dead. Charles broke the oath, let it all burn. Uh, where is Toka? Should spend some points. I don't see Toka here anymore. Okay. Uh, we need to go after him then. It's over where he graves. Aid me, be my eyes. Are we gonna challenge him to a home gang? Will it be a home gang then, Wolfkist? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinric or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge. It has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood in our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Draw your weapon. If you want to find peace, this is not the way. We must build fresh bonds, look forward to something new. Look forward, look back. It is death in both directions. We are but a morning fog that will inevitably lift. Now answer my challenge or dishonor yourself. Your sorrow will linger if you do not face it directly. My blood, the blood of more Franks, will be no solve for your grief. The 
It is as if you speak with Simric's voice. I have been at sea with no stars to guide by since he died. And if your brother were here, what would be his counsel? To move forward. To live. My time here is over. My kin are dead. The ones who remain must decide what is right for themselves. Let it be Toka's time. What will you do? Leave this place. Ask different questions. Forget everything I know and... and find a new way. Hmm. I was afraid we had to kill him. Siegfried! Are you drunk still? Where is he going? Away. Then I am going with him. No, Toga. Your clan needs you. He was not himself since my father died. A solitary man. But never more so than when he stood alone, tasked with rousing our desperate clan. He led well, but all leaders must one day step aside. That, or see others die because they held on to power for too long. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring. And his fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. Yeah? What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirmed this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. If he says it's urgent, I must go. I owe the Queen a debt, and I am honor-bound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. Hmm. Alright. Let's see where we need to go. What about that quest we picked up? Um. Ah. Oh. Did we fail that quest? I don't see it. It hasn't moved even the slightest. Well, that one is clearly closest. I cannot fast travel to that.
I hope we don't have to ride through the monastery. This place is heavily guarded. Sorry. I don't even know what which destination they have. I just hope we are not too late. Is he coming for me? Yes. I'm not sure why I'm lagging um, with these. It's really odd. Right, there we go, he's dead. And uh, the main mission is over there. Eivor of England. You sent for me. Said the Queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. Oh, at the church. I may see the man that was not for Slefanesca. The Lord, Suen Gulliband, this Bulair. Sierra, for Tom's of Plumet. Look at these workers. Working happily. Working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. And the quality of the wine is their doing. They are not beasts of burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under Charles. Ah, pluck the grapes right on time, Roland. Très bien. Dependable as always. Merci, monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit. There is an uncommon beauty to these lands. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the wounds you have delivered should have taken me. 
You chose to have that fight. And you fought for your people and for your honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done the same. We are more alike than we first appear, Eva. And I will carry the scars to remind me. Hmm. So what does he want? I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried has left these lands. Those axes belong to Toka Simenik's Dotir now. That should be cause for celebration. But I fear Toka is yet another devil in a male shirt. Toka has learned much from Siegfried. Some of what she has learned is how not to be. I hope you are right. Your message said Rishadis was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth that I find more honor and courage in you, Ivar, a northern invader, than in my own king. There's an echo to the voice. Is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. Bernard. A part of me wanted to hand him over to Charles. What grace you possess prevented you from condemning the boy to a hell in this world. He is better off with Richardis. Where is the queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens, guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... too long. I will find Richardis. I'm duty-bound to return the aid she once gave me. And... she is my friend. There is... One more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia, we would not forget. Uh, but uh, hold on. Why, why would I? Why would I kill him? I mean, Odin. I don't know. I don't really trust Odo. Hmm. Um, it's like they said before we sail over, if we kill him, somebody will just replace him, and if that's him, he will most likely have a grudge to us. I cannot promise anything. No. Murdering Charles on the hope it will bring security to my clan is not the kind of deal I mean to make. I misjudged you, Evar. You stand before your people's best hope. Enough. You offer a promise you cannot keep, Odo. I will go to the tavern in Amiens and find Richardis. Fine. Bonne chance, Evar. I will pray for you to succeed where my men have not. Oh, 
Well, let's get over there. I guess I'm gonna head into the villa. Show me. All right. Let's head over there. These men must have been the Queen's guard. Tavern Keep, what happened here? Hide! I am not sure it has gone. The monster, so much blood. Just hide! Better to look around myself. Nothing. I'm just gonna plunder a little bit. The other side must be barred. <laughs> Was this how the queen escaped? Or the way enemies got to her? A monk. What was he doing here? More of Odo's men. They failed to safeguard the queen. Hmm. A scroll. It has an odd marking. Could have been part of Bernard's studies. A red puppy. Yes, these are Odo's men. The tavern keep may know something about this scroll and its markings. <laughs> Tell me what we want to know. There's a dead monk upstairs, and a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh, yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church and hope to find the queen there. I need your eyes, my friend. Oh. Hear ye, hear ye! I'm here to celebrate King Charles' great victory over the hidden chieftain they call Siegfried! I'm sorry? Show your faith and loyalty to the crown by dressing in Amiens bleu! Garments at a discount! I saw the boy, I know it! The bastard princeling is should not be here. seen in this area. Bernard is here. Oh no. I did not want to do that.
Okay, I'm gonna go for the big guy. I crush you. What diablo is you? Ah, great. Is he here? Bernard. Evo! Thank goodness it's you! What happened? The monster took us to Father's villa. But Richard Lees distracted him, and I snuck through the construction along the wall. There is a tower there. And if you climb and climb, you can go right over! Where is Richardus? Where is the Queen? The monster. She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to father for something. A test! I was- What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire. At father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house in Lisseur. I will see to Shadis. I can help. I know... things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... Uh, he gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frankia depends on your survival. It will be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down to the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up for it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Mm. Keep going, and do not look back. I will see to Richardis. Au revoir, Evo. So he has to travel all the way from up here, all the way down there. It's across the, the entire area. How will he do this? Well, look at that. I didn't really shake that side. But well, that looks really accessible in my opinion. Let me see here. How do we how do we change arrows? Which button is it? Here, maybe. <laughs> maybe I don't have any of those arrows. Oh, wait, of course, it's, it's the bow. Of course, it's the bow. Well now. Oh. 
Wait, it's fine. I believe we have uh, the key that's down there. Huh? A beefy sea, bro. Feet ache. The renovations better be worth all these double shifts. They won't be. Looking for us. I need to get up there. Should I make a break for it? I don't think so. That's not what I wanted to do. Take this. There we go. It appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath 
Finish your wicked soul! I have nothing to fear from him! It is you, Charles, who must seek his forgiveness! There is no fire there. <laughs> we will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king. And before God, it's time I send this Diable back to hell where it belongs! Alive. Stand aside, Bishop. Your God does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn! For little mother! For my brother Ebels! I will purge you from this place! Alright. The Lord yes. I am his wrath. Thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. Oh, oh no. We're having a crash. Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, that's the first, yeah, that's the first crash uh, since we got back. Let's see how long this will take. Shame for add ons have uh, been a bit of a pain every time I start the game. The first time I did it, that took ages. Should take at least less than a minute, hopefully now. There we go. On 17, I think that's before we uh, leap down, is it? Or it could be just before the fight. Thank <laughs> you. 
You're still pissed. Now he's dead. I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lucerne. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flash of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Not a moment ago, he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Uh, well, I will try. Fine. If I can, I will spare him. But I need to be sure he can abide these terms. I know you will do what's right. The Lord works through you. And he is merciful. Yeah, you don't know us. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. This is madness. the door hey say has I always knew it she is pure I am a monster he's killed everyone when they schemed and murdered when they defeated and attacked who was there for you it was me I know it. But now it's I don't like it here, but it's better than staying with father. He has changed. He's quiet sometimes. I see him normal, but then he is angry and speaks with that strange voice. Is he possessed or something, or what is the matter with him? I know it. I see clearly now. But I should never have done it. I knew you come in my 
my king, please, stay back. I will burn you. I know your fear. I have fire. I'm not him. I'm not the king. No, oh, don't. Gods. Hmm. Oh, can I trust some of the bishops? The developers can't be under underestimated. Hmm. This kingdom has riches beyond my wildest mushroom cat dreams. The bedroom of the king and queen. Like it has never been touched. Can I pet you? No. Charles's wedding ring. Why is he not wearing it? I don't know why he's not wearing it. But it is a Lord of the Rings reference, is not. I think that's uh, supposed to be some uh, scribing on it. It's not a reflection. Because there's a little bit of a glow. The key over there. And now we smash the little ones that are the little ones. I guess this stops. Diary. All, all this is not entirely Charles' fault. The devil has tormented him since he was a child. The key could work on the door in the main hall. And now we smash the little ones. Ah, oh, the little ones. Against the stones. Against the stones. I know. Save me, oh mother of mine! Spare my life, please! We were a fire. Pick up. Another key. I should try these on the main hall door. 